we made it. Don't think there's going to be any sunrise, but it's definitely fog. Yes, guys, good morning. We made it to Richmond. It's early, Mr. Benson. How are you feeling? Very good. How are you? Not bad, mate. Not bad at all. It is an extremely foggy morning. We chose to come because it was foggy. We're also under the impression there was going to be some element of a sunrise as well today, which is the perfect conditions for shooting stags in the park here at Richmond Park. Kind of wanted to get a shot similar to this one that I saw the other day, but it's looking as though not only have we missed the sunrise because it's quite bright already, but there really isn't one. It's just a little bit foggy with the severe weather warning. But nonetheless, we've made the trip across London. It's like an hour to get here, so we're gonna make the most of it. We're gonna go and hit the park and see if we can get some nice shots. This is the source of London's fog problem this morning. This man walking his dog just showed us that there is in fact an open gate. And uh, there's a deer cull going on right now, but hopefully they've not culled all of them. We've just seen an ancestor to the pelican, the heron. And as soon as we, here he is. Wow. Kaka! It's a sign of appreciation for a big bird. It's quite eerie with the oh. fog. Would make a great movie set, I think. Yeah, this would. Okay, so we might not have found any deer. I think they've all been culled, you know. I think someone has gone and culled them. Literally culled them. We're gonna try and get a nice pick. There's some nice reflections here of these very dead looking trees. It's actually just because it's winter and the leaves have fallen off. They're not really dead at all. There's a nice reflection on this puddle slash glorified lake. We're gonna try and get a sick pick here. It looks really nice actually. The reflection's good. It's quite long. Morning. We could do with having a dog as the subject of our photos today. I can't believe that heron flew away. Who do you think he is? Oh, I got it. Do you know what, Lawrence? I think we have to give up on this deer. We've been here for about an hour and a half now. I think we should go and find a coffee in Richmond somewhere. My hands are free. <gasps> Oh, it's a bench, bugger. As with any photography mission that involves wildlife, there is often a period of wait, which is in when you see like the National Geographic and the Discovery videos, it's usually like days or weeks to get a certain shot. This morning we've literally just come here until we run out of energy and need a coffee, so we'll bugger off back to Richmond. And just as we were already thinking of giving up, uh, like an hour and a half into being here, I've spotted a female deer but it's about maybe 200, 150 meters that way. So obviously we don't want to disturb their natural habitat, but we're going to get, try and get a bit closer and get a photo. Did you get any, did you get any good shots? No. I think I might have got one that can edit up quite nice. It's such a nice shot. Get some good shots, Lawrence. Yeah, amazing. You? I, I got some absolute bangers. I think uh, there was one time where one of the ones with the the antlers was on his own. Yeah. So I think I managed to get a bit of some of these dark outlines of the trees. The trees are kind of silhouetted in the background. Um, yeah, what amazing timing! Literally, again on the way out of the park, we actually come across the biggest group of 
idea of the day. I think there was another photographer who was kind of like higher up nearer the trees. But I kind of like how we got the trees in the background of our shots as opposed to just like this vast open space. Sure. Cool. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm happy with that now. It was kind of like a, the sun didn't show up so it felt like a semi-failed mission but I think this has made it worthwhile. Coffee time. Coffee in hand. My hands literally have hands on my fingers. It's red there. Her body's gold like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try forgetting, I remember. But we say we are fine.